The Trail of the Coeur d'Alene is considered one of the most beautiful trails in the region with an 11 mile section of this trail now closed. At least one business owner in Harrison expects the next few months to be a bumpy ride. Bald eagles and pink lily pads draw thousands of people to the Trail of the Coeur d'Alene every year and right to John Colby's bike shop. Hello, Pedal Pushers Bike Shop. This is John. Colby rents helmets and bikes to visitors this year, however, with 11 of the 72 miles now closed. It's really hurting the economy of all the businesses all up and down this trail that depend on on tourism for their dollars. An 80-foot section of the trail washed out when the Coeur d'Alene River flooded this spring. Colby says several people have rescheduled or canceled their trips. So the groups are limited to day trips along the lake shore right now. And then you got to get in your car and relocate up the trail to access the rest of it. Even so, it won't stop some riders from enjoying the other portion of the trail. I went from Harrison down to the bridge and back. The old Mission State Park manages the washed out section of road, but Union Pacific, which still owns the land, is responsible for the repairs. The park manager says the project is a priority, adding crews are working as fast as they can to reopen. Colby says he understands repairs take time. But it's getting to the point where I feel we have been abandoned and ignored and, and our needs are not being addressed. Crews hope to have the trail reconnected in the next month or so. Reporting in North Idaho, Annie Bishop, KXLY4.